Welcome to the second segment of cooking with kids on the sourdough bread. So what we're going to be doing, you want to come help me? You want to, you want to come help? <laughs> um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing our sourdough um, into our, I'm going to use my mini loaf pans. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for that. I'm going to she actually to flour my hands too. because that's actually going to stop the dough from sticking. I'm going to grab my flour and I'm going to flour up my hands. Okay. I, no, no, no. Not on the table. Not on the counter. I'm sorry. So, basically you want to get your hands in some flour. Just dip them in. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. Dip your hands in. Just don't. There we go. So they're nice and floured. What I'm going to do is take some of my, my hands are not sourdough and I'm actually just going to start forming it. Let me see. I need to need a little bit more flour for my hands. Thank you, baby. So we're going to start flouring like? and forming. So I'm this looks like fun. forming it into sort of like an oblong kind of a shape. I'm putting each one into one of my, okay. I just wanted to make sure it's probably. Okay, good. Good. I'm gonna can I take the one that you just did and I'm gonna mix with a little bit more. Okay. Wait, my hands are not powdery yet. Yeah, you gotta make them nice and powdery. Oh, this is this dough is nice and soft. Yeah, this looks good. It's like warm because it, I've had it right near the oven. More. Yeah, a little bit more. Alright, so my hands are not powdery yet. There we go. So Okay, I actually like... did do one with herbs. Um, I did about oh, this smells so good. <laughs> half a teaspoon of um, rosemary, and I added half a teaspoon of herbs de Provence to the um, I need my hands to be regular um, loaf of bread. So I'm just kneading this. I gotta actually flour my hands a little bit more. Mine are actually a little bit powdered. Okay. And I'm just forming it. It's almost like a little ball uh, and putting it in the loaf pan. Okay, let's see. Mommy. So I'm going to have three regular and I'm going to do one, um, one, um, thank you. I'm going to put it right in there. And I'm going to do one with an herb flavored. All right. So herbs de Provence. Let's talk about some yeah, herbs de Provence. Hang on. Herbs de Provence uh, consists of rose. I'm um, sorry. Consists of thyme, We're gonna use basil, like lavender. Okay, okay, go wash your hands now. Thank you. Um, rose. I'm sorry. It consists of basil, thyme, lavender. Very amazing. And then you add a little bit of rosemary into the mix, and you have got yourself one delicious bread. Um, you can add a little bit of oregano into your herb sourdough bread. Um, I actually tried a piece of my sourdough bread because I was just curious to see how it's going to taste. And I was actually pleasantly surprised. It is a, it's not an overbearing, potent type of sourdough bread. It's actually a light flavor of the sourdough bread. Um, I'm not crazy about a lot of strong, potent types of things like that, but it is, it's actually very good. Um, I actually had it with a little bit of butter. Um, so I'm going to keep farting around with the sour. Yeah, you did great. You want to put the lid back on the flour and put, can you put that away from me? Thank you so much. So it's so powdery. It's so powdery. I so it. I have three plain sourdoughs. And then I'm going to actually do show you how I did the um, herb one. Can you put that back on the shelf for mommy? Thank you so much. So this one is my herb one. You can oh. see. Um, I'll see if I can ooh, get in a little closer some of the herbs as I drop this. All right. And it, oh, that smells good. That smells good. So again, to do the herb, um, to do the herb one, all I did was simply add, don't do that, um, one, about one teaspoon, one, one, one teaspoon of the herbs de Provence and about one teaspoon of rosemary. And you knead it into the bread. You're going to add some flour to the bowl anyways. Um, 
I promise that needs to not go in this bowl. And you're going to see the, the herbs in there. You just need the herbs right into the dough, honestly, and it's going to come out delicious. So this is my herb one. Can I get dressed? Um, why don't you go wash your face? <laughs> you got that flower on that beautiful mug of yours. So these are going in my four non-stick um, baking loaf pans. I'm going to keep them near the oven again to let them rise a little bit. All right, I had a request for the um, herb uh, sourdough bread, so that's for one of my co-workers. Um, so I'm going to be bringing that to work on Monday. And it will keep perfectly fine at room temperature. So I'm just getting all the ghost boogers off my hands. When that has risen, again, you're going to let it rise for about 30 minutes. Then you can put it in the oven. Actually, I'm going to turn off my oven. <laughs> We're going to put it in the oven at 350 for about an hour. But you want to keep your eye on it because some I know some ovens are different. All right. No, I got this gel all over my hand. There we go. Where's my Izzy? She was just in here. All right. My kitchen looks like a bomb went off in it. A nice big flower bomb. <laughs> Oh, there you are. So I'm going to get going on cleaning up my kitchen. I'm going to come back with another video on another fruit bread that um, I've actually made for my oldest daughter, for her teacher, for Teacher Appreciation Week. So um, when we come back, I'll make sure my, uh, I promise my kitchen counters will not look like a flower bomb blew off on it. And we are going to make that one last bread and then we're going to call it a day because this mom is already tired. Thanks for watching. Again, with the sourdough bread, I want to make a correction. It is not three and a half cups of water. It is three and a half cups of flour. So I'm going to go over the, before I finish this segment, I want to go over my sourdough bread recipe. Okay, so you, what you need to make the sourdough bread for the starter, just the starter, you need one little square package of dry yeast. There's different kinds. You can get the rapid, you let it sit at, at room temperature for three to four days. Then you have the regular, which you will let sit for four to five days, okay? In your mixing bowl, you take your one package of dry yeast to um, two cups room temperature water. Mix it, let it sit for two minutes. Once it's sit for ten uh, for two minutes, then you add three and a half cups of flour, okay, and two tablespoons of sugar, okay. Mix it, mix it well. Cover it with plastic wrap. Let it sit for three to five days, depending on the type of yeast that you have used. Every twelve hours, which is twice a day you are going to mix that sourdough starter, okay? Once you've completed the three to five days, in a mixing bowl, you will add four cups of flour, all right, two tablespoons of salt, one and a quarter cup of room temperature water. Very important that it is room temperature. You don't want it too hot. You do not want it too cold, otherwise your dough will not rise, okay? You will add one cup of your sourdough starter, okay? You're gonna mix it and you're gonna knead it for 10 minutes. Cover the bowl, let it sit. The longer you let it sit, the more dough, the, the, the bigger it's gonna rise, okay? Just remember that. All right, then You'll get your loaf pan, or you can form it into a ball. Put it on your baking sheet. You're going to uh, cover it, and you're going to let it rise again for about a couple of hours. All right. Once it has risen again, it's going to almost double in size. You're going to put your sourdough bread into a 350-degree oven for about an hour. 
And I say about an hour keyword is about because every oven is different. All right, I have gas heat. Um, I don't think we have a whole, I don't think there's really any elevation in the town that I live in, but whatever. Um, so it doesn't take really much time. But I do continuously check on the bread. All right. Um, obviously, once you take it out, um, take it out, you let it come to room temperature, slice it up, put some butter on it, you can make a sandwich out of it. Ooh, it's good. Um, so that is how you make the sourdough bread. Thank you all for watching. This is this completes my second segment. So it was one of two, so this is two of two, of the sourdough bread. Um, I do have it in my little loaf pans. It will rise, and once it has done coming, once it's doubled in size again, then I'll put this in the oven at 400 degrees. And then when they are done, I will show you again what they look like when they're done. These are my mini loaves. These are the mini, mini loaves. Is it? These are the mini loaves that, that I made in the mini loaf pan. And then I have my, I had my 12 inch um, loaf pan and this, as you can see, I couldn't resist, but this is what it looks like when you cut into it. Oh, can you smell that? It smells, oh, it smells so good. This is why I can never lose weight. I love my carbs, but this is the sourdough bread. 12, that was, it was 12 inches, but you know, so yes was 12 inches about three to four inches it's like this is the baby and this is the mommy bread so those are my sourdough breads um and stay tuned because the next video i'm going to do at some point today is going to be my banana nut coconut chocolate chip bread i know i kind of it's almost like everything but the kitchen sink except i'm not adding cranberries and oranges so um, I'm actually going to use a ha toasted hazelnuts. I have hazelnuts and I'm going to toast them in a, in a skillet. But anyways, I'll get to that later. So thank you all for watching. This is uh, part two of the sourdough bread. This completes my videos for the sourdough bread. Thank you for watching Cooking with Kids. God bless.